The Gilded Age 2 was filled with many twists that fans weren't expecting, but season three plans to be even more chaotic as it was already teased at the end of episode eight. There are quite big changes coming. At the end of season two, Bertha approached the Duke to buy him off again by promising him her daughter, Gladys. Viewers also noticed that Bertha dressed up the young girl for the opera to stand out even more. But the crazy thing about where this is going in season three is that this matchmaking will cause big problems, especially for the Russells. So that means the fan favorite couple, Mr. and Mrs. Russell, will go into a massive war that will change everything. Carrie Coon, who plays Bertha, confirmed that this is going to happen next season as the actor who plays George, Morgan Spector, is furious about it. Morgan also revealed that he's ready to go to war, saying, I just find it very disturbing because I think in the next season we're going to go to war basically over this. However, Morgan hopes Gladys gets to like the Duke, but that seems impossible from the look of things as Gladys likes someone else her mother disapproves of. It's obvious that Bertha always gets what she wants, but she may have gone too far this time. Also, George doesn't joke with his children and he has already promised Gladys he would let her marry for love and not for prestige. So in the Gilded Age 3, fans will finally start seeing the beginning of the fall of George and Bertha his love for each other. And since the Russell family is based on the real life Vanderbilts, where the daughter was forced to marry, there's probably an even more uncomfortable story that season three could follow. Although it will break many fans' hearts, Mr. and Mrs. Russell might be heading for a divorce next season. And it will change and destroy many things for the family. It's not really that strange because the Vanderbilts got divorced in real life as well. Although matchmaking the Duke with Gladys could cause a massive fight between Bertha and her husband, the character is never the one to back down. And with how the Duke showed up after Bertha's persuasion, season three will see Gladys marry against her wish. So another loveless engagement is happening and Gladys will be forced to accept it. This will be a turning point for Gladys, who we know as gentle and calm. The character has been in the shadow of her mother for so long and will now fight to be independent in her marriage to the Duke. And she will eventually become even stronger and fearless than her mother. Relationships were being made or destroyed in the season two finale, and Peggy's love story didn't make it even though some cast and fans were rooting for her and Mr. Fortune. But since it's impossible for her to be with a married man, Peggy might be saying goodbye to love in season three. Some fans wish that something terrible happened to Mr. Fortune's wife so that Peggy could finally get the romantic love she deserved, but none of that will occur because Denny Benton mentioned that it might be time for Peggy to stop letting men get in her way. From how her dad kept her son from her and not getting to be with her first love, Peggy isn't about to let her feelings for Mr. Fortune affect her writing career. So fans could stop hoping there's a turnaround for this love story as it won't happen in season three. However, viewers wouldn't miss Peggy going higher in her career and maintaining a respectable friendship with Mr. Fortune from afar. The Van Ryan family went through so much, but the fantastic thing is that it ended well, especially for Mrs. Ada. Although people felt she was unlucky with marriage, she surprisingly ended up with more fortune and luck than anyone could ever imagine. But that's not all. As at the very end of the season, Ada teased Agnes without fear that power has changed hands, especially with how Bannister specifically acknowledged her. And this won't only change, but shake everything in season three, as you can already tell by the end of this season. When Agnes had the power, she had strict rules and wasn't open to accepting new money into her home. However, Ada is a very different and happy person. And what that means for the future of the Van Ryan household is that it will be more welcoming and less restrictive. So fans should expect expect to see Ada as the decision maker of the house next season as Cynthia Nixon, who plays the role, joked that Ada will start accommodating stray cats and dogs. With Ada's newfound fortune, Agnes won't speak up as much in season three. But then that means the Van Ryan family will become even closer to the new money, especially the Russells who live just opposite them. Although Ada is rich and the family is happy again, Oscar is still in pain as he told Ada that he might not survive even if his mother did. And that's very scary and shows that viewers could see Oscar sink deeper into depression in season three, which already started at the season two finale. Fans could see how Oscar stopped being humorous and could no longer challenge his mother because of what he did. But the good thing is this experience will change how he was actively looking for a wealthy heiress as he will learn to focus more on himself. Also, Oscar being a closeted gay could be a big part of his story next season, as Adam 
will be the only one who truly understands him. Maude Beaton running an organized scam means she's done it to many people and will continue doing it to others. However, some fans feel her story isn't over in the show and she could show up in season three. Oscar may find out where she is soon as other people she scammed come out to tell their stories, so Oscar will try to redeem himself and go to extra lengths to investigate the situation further, but he might end up not trusting any young heiress again and decide to stay unmarried like his partner, Adam. The Gilded Age 3 is about to have many viewers falling more in love than they've already been because Ada won't be the only one coming into money. One of the Van Rijn workers, Jack, who invented a new type of alarm clock that works, could also be coming into good fortune in season three. Larry has agreed to make him his business partner, which means Jack will no longer work for the family. But the good luck won't be for only him as many other workers supported and pushed him forward. So they all would get a part of the upcoming riches too. Jack has come a long way to be where he is now, and with money comes other exciting parts of life. So viewers should expect to see Jack in a love triangle between another of the downstairs workers, Bridget, and Miss Russell's maid, Aldehyde. Jack loved and wanted Bridget first as they even went on a date, but Bridget didn't want a relationship and Jack didn't push it. Then Jack started speaking with Aldehyde whenever he got the chance, so there's also an attraction between these two. Interestingly, his new fortune will be very popular and be the talk of the town, and Jack will be more comfortable and ready to choose who he wants to spend his life with, so season three will be dramatic as Jack goes back and forth between Bridget and Aldehyde. Although Jack's future wealth is still uncertain, Another servant in the series, Mr. Collier, is surely returning to a more comfortable and wealthy lifestyle in The Gilded Age 3. Even though his progress means viewers won't see him as a valet at the Russells again, his part is still ongoing in the show. In season three, fans could meet his grandchildren and see how he enjoys his retirement. Also, as a former banker, he could still be in Mr. Russell's life by advising on his business when needed. A few romantic relationships encountered issues in season two, especially with Marion breaking up with Dashiell, but there's now more to look forward to. Many people thought Dashiell was a wrong match, which has been proven correct with what happened. So the focus for season three will be Larry and Marion. These two have much in common and want to explore the world and pursue their passions without caring for society's demands. And with Ada leading the Van Ryan now and Bertha not minding who Larry stays with as long as it's not a widow, there might be no stumbling block between these two young lovers. However, the two might not be able to get away without scandals as Larry's past with the young widow could leak. Also, Marion's two failed engagements are very controversial issues that could set them behind in their romantic relationship. As the Gilded Age proved, new money will always win as they have much to use in buying their way. Mrs. Astor was defeated in the opera war with the apparent massive turnout at the Metropolitan while the Academy got snubbed, but that doesn't mean Bertha won't have anybody to compete with in season three. Although she could still have many other challenges with Mrs. Astor in the future, Turner could be a bigger problem for Bertha. Towards the end of the finale, Bertha told her husband that she was the reason why Turner and her husband got thrown out of the Academy and hopes Turner doesn't find out. Also, Turner couldn't have her desired seat at the Met, and she's not the type to give up going after what she wants. Like Bertha, Turner is also very ambitious, as she has successfully married into money, despite coming from a humble background. Also, she's not a fan of Bertha, so they would be clashing at balls and other essential events next season. Turner will also find out Bertha revealed her secrets, and plan for her revenge, which will definitely shake the world of the Gilded Age. Share your thoughts about season three in the comments, and thanks for watching.